Tonight we have the joy of being a part of a dedication for a future leader. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Miles to come and lead us in this dedication. Matthew and Triska are going to be dedicating their new blessing from the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to ask our trustees to come and stand with me, please. I know that uh, some of you may be surprised and some of you may be shocked that we are about to make history at a global leadership summit. And our trustees will stand behind these two wonderful people. Uh, Trista. Clow and her, her husband, a part of our team, Trista became a trustee of our leadership association last year. And Trista and her husband were married for how many years now? Five years. And they desired to have a child. There wasn't seem to be too much success. So I told Trista, I have a solution for her. That she should come to the Bahamas. This is a true story. Come to the Bahamas, bring her husband with her. Because God lives in the Bahamas, not in Israel. And that we will pray for them. And they shall conceive in the Bahamas. What the doctors couldn't figure out will be solved in the Bahamas. And ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that last year, during, during the global, during the global, they missed a couple of sessions. And uh, a few weeks later, after everything was settled, I got a phone call. And there was an excited voice on the other end announcing that there was conception in paradise. <laughs> so this baby is our first global summit baby. Come on, give God a hand for a global. <laughs> and for all of the people who are watching us all over the world, especially our wonderful group down in Suriname, we're so glad that you've joined us for an historic occasion. And, and so tonight we are witnesses of a miracle that the doctors are still amazed over. This baby was carried to full term, was delivered with ease. Matter of fact, we prayed for a painless delivery and a quick one, and that was the experience. This child is healthy, and the name of the child is in keeping with one of the topics we covered. They named the child as a reminder of the summit last year, we talked about Mavericks. And so they named this beautiful boy Maverick. Maverick James Croft. Give God a hand for Maverick James. 
I don't want to get in the camera away, yeah. Now, Trista called me and said, there's no other place we know appropriate to fly to have our baby dedicated than in the Global Summit. This is a historic event. We've never done this before. And my answer to her was absolutely yes. And here's why. Listen carefully. Whenever God wanted to change the world, when there was a problem on earth, and God wanted to rectify it, his system is completely different. You will find this consistent throughout history, that whenever God wanted to change the world, he wanted to change conditions in a country, he never attacked the present leadership and government. He always simply had a baby. And if you study history, that was his system constantly. And when God wanted to, to introduce himself to the world again, he chose a, a man named Abraham. And he said, you'll have a baby. And history was changed. And when God wanted to set the people free who were oppressed in Egypt, he never attacked Pharaoh. He simply had a baby. And when God wanted to save the whole world, he never attacked Rome. He simply had a baby. I assume God wants to change the world one more time. So he simply had a baby. And so tonight, as a team of men and women who have a passion for leadership, we want this baby to be placed in a basket of global leadership vision. We want this child to be pushed into the reeds of life. And we'd like for this baby to be discovered by the system. And we'd like for the system to take the baby in and train the baby in their universities, in their sciences, and their philosophy, so that the child can become well-versed in the systems of the world. And we, tonight, are going to dedicate this baby to becoming the one who changes the system that it grows up into. Just like Moses was trained in the midst of the system of Egypt and then changed Egypt, this child tonight we are going to dedicate to go into the system and learn the system. And this child shall grow up in a twilight. And we shall teach this child from an early age things you are just learning now. And that the future of this world will be bright because of children like this. And finally, children are not our property. The scriptures say that children are the heritage of the Lord. And blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They are like arrows in a quiver. An arrow is always used to shoot away from the bow into the future. So tonight, we take this arrow, and we put this arrow in our hands. We aim to the future of the 21st century, and we are going to release this arrow into the world of the future with our faith that this baby, like many other babies incubated by what you have learned in this association, will become the future leaders of our world. I am not aware of where this child will end up, but neither did my father know who I would be. So tonight, 
you might be in the presence of the governor of Florida or the mayor of the city or the attorney general of Florida. We have no idea. This baby could be the first Atwila United States president. That would be wonderful. So because we do not know who this child is, we are going to offer this child back to the one who sent him. And we will dedicate this child to the work and to the mission of God and the earth. I want you to be careful how you honor children. Because my father and mother had no idea who I was. And every time I think of being number six in my family of 11 children, I thought if my mother had said to my father, five is enough, you wouldn't be here today. And there'd be no books with my name on it. You never know who you're holding. And that's why we have to be cautious with this child. And so today, our fellow trustees stand with Trista and her family and Maverick. And Maverick, you're about to change the world. And you're on television for the first time. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to stand, please, if you will. And now, if you can just hold hands with someone on the re left and right, just as an agreement of the family of humans. We are humans. And our children back home, you got a son and a daughter. I want you to pray for them while we pray for Maverick. And that your children will grow up to be those who change the world as well. And those who impact society. And that the same blessings that we bestow upon this child will also extend to your children and your children's children. I thank you so much for allowing us to share this very special moment. Everything done here tonight will be recorded on audio and video so that when this child grows up to be aware of life, this child will see this video and shall know that it was in a global environment with many nations, he was offered up to God. And that he belongs not just to America, but he belongs to the nations. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Raphael Messiah, could you come and hold the baby, please? I think you have children, so you know how to do this. All right. <laughs> Amen. We are going to pray a blessing over the Maverick and return this child back to the one who gave it. From this night forward, this child is on loan with his family. And their job is to raise up a righteous seed to be planted into the soil of the earth and the world that it may bring forth righteous fruit in his generation. And that because of this baby, many nations shall be saved from corruption and immorality. And that the children that are yet unborn will be blessed and preserved because of our faith in this baby tonight. Let's bow our heads together as we honor the Lord for this gift. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need a microphone, please. Father. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for him. Yes. Before he was in his mother's womb, mm. you knew him. Yes. You ordained him. Uh, mm. Before he came into this world, uh, you assigned him. Yes. And now all we simply do as we lay our hands upon him, as we stand here with his spirit, 
we dedicate Maverick to your purpose for his life. Hallelujah. And we pray that nothing under the sun yes. would baffle this young man. Mm. You'll give him wisdom. You'll cause him to understand mm. the issues of life. You'll cause him to understand the people. His word will be a sure word to his generation. Yes. We thank you, Father, mm. that you will so fix him. Yes. He will be a blessing, not just to his family, mm. not just to his nation, but to the world. And so we dedicate him to your purpose. Yes. Right now, we cover him under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we pray that no attempt to thwart or to interfere with your original plan will be successful. Yeah. We commend him to you. Yes. And we thank you for blessing him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. I'm going to ask all the ladies in the group to come and lay their hands on Crystal. And I'm going to ask the men to stand around this powerful man, Matt. All the men, lay hands on Matt Crystal, please. Let's come around this way. You know, the number one role of parents is not to give their children dreams, but to allow them to discover their own. We must be careful not to tell our children what to become. They already came with an assignment. Our goal in life is to create an environment for them to find it. And that's why parents are so important. So can you reach your hands toward this father and mother? And let us bless this father and mother. Thank you, Lord. Father, we speak over Matthew and Crystal. That you gave them a beautiful gift. It doesn't belong to them. We just gave this baby back to you. So they are now stewards of destiny. They are responsible for creating an environment around this child constantly to hear your voice. Just like Samuel heard your voice in the temple. May they be like Eli every day and say to this child, do whatever he says. We release upon this mother and father special wisdom and special revelation to be good parents to this child. Make Matthew a man who will teach your laws to this child. And make Trista a woman who will give suck to a baby that will change the world. We sanctify them both in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. And we decree that you are holy parents to rear a holy child for a holy God. In the name of the Lord, we call you blessed. Amen. Amen. Wow. You want to say a word? One year ago was when we found out here at this conference that we had a little baby on the way. So it was very exciting. And he is a product of vision. Yes, you are. <laughs> In the mentorship program I did with Pastor Miles mentorship program, that was one of the very important aspects. And vision has completely changed my life. So he was the number one thing on it. And also Pastor Miles prayed. So I want to thank you. Thank you for the teachings. Thank you for being obedient to God. And our lives have changed because of it, and we are influencing people in our community also, and so a little maverick. So thank you guys for being a part of our special moment tonight. Pastor Miles, thank you very deeply from we the bottom you. of our hearts. We love you. Thank both. you. We love you too. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we are pleased to 
to give to Maverick his first gift from the International Third World Leadership Association. It says, a child's first Bible. <laughs> On the inside, it says, this Bible is presented to Maverick J. Crow." on the seventh day of November, 2012. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Your first gift presented to, to you from this great team of leaders. We love you, Maverick. We also present an official certificate of dedication with Maverick's name in it, stamped and sealed. And this can be framed and kept all the days of his life to remember this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the ordained, <laughs> dedicated, Maverick James Crow. <laughs> Come on, give it up, give it up, give it up. God bless you both. You may be seated. Thank you very much. By the way, if anybody wants us to pray for them, we are available to pray for you and your spouse tonight as well. If you'd like to conceive in the Bahamas, uh, we are definitely available. So if you have any prayer, make sure it's your spouse we're praying with. 